uh, for any particular reason. Uh, obviously, if you're not, if your name is not in the summit list, you definitely don't want to miss your chance to be a part of the last chance qualifier. But hey, uh, we'll talk about that last chance qualifier as we go on into night here. Let's get into MM Leo versus Charlie the King. MM Leo, if you guys are tuning in or on the YouTube vods, MM Leo did beat out, of course, Raza to get this far into bracket here. And he's going up against one of the tech kings himself. Uh, no pun intended, man. It is Charlie the King on the technical side of the world versus MM Leo, uh, who I have been told by many people in San Diego, he is the camp fiend. Oh, so we'll definitely, see. definitely. He. Uh, I was talking to some of the locals of San Diego before this match started. According to them, M.M. Leo is a Mega Man boss incarnate. He has a pattern. He follows it. He has a plan. And guess what? He does not deviate. So, guess this is exactly what we plan to see from M.M. Leo himself. He's going to try and set up tent around the edges where he has uh, less room to dash back, but it does give him more room to like, set up these projectiles, especially using the platform to his advantage. Right. Um, and I also have a little bit more insight. So I don't know if you noticed, Vance, in the last game, we didn't see M.M. Leo do his signature power-up. No, he actually did his power-up here and now up against Charlie, uh, of course, in the middle of our announcement. But oh, rip. So we didn't get to see it. He already did it? Uh, yeah. Oh, rip. Well, uh, I'm telling you guys right now, the player who has probably powers himself up as he goes on is Charlie. And... You don't want to be caught on the receiving end, but I think Charlie understands the pace of this matchup now. Going into the high percent, he knows he just needs one confirm, but one commitment from MM Leo. Mm. If mm. you look at the decision making from MM Leo, right, you do sacrifice a lot of control and I would say survivability uh, it, just by sending yourself into the corner. But at the, as the risk, like you said, you get to set up the projectiles and you get to set up the camp game. And I think that's where MM Leo really accelerates in. Not to, first off. not to mention, like, being a projectile-based character, you are constantly forcing your opponent's approach, which, if, uh, if you're new to this game, is definitely the advantage you want to have on your side. So whenever MM Leo actually retreats to the ledge, yes, it's allowing, uh, it's, it's giving him no room to back up and room behind him to play with, but it is also forcing the options uh, from Charlie the King. Yeah. And uh, MM Leo is going to look out for, like, how to anti-air him. Or, oh, oh, no, no that's so man, unfortunate. Yeah, that's a misinput, and I definitely saw that from Charlie's hands and his face. He was not too happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie did have a really good patient game around the drop bomb, just particularly because he knows if I commit to this option here against MM Leo, I will fall into his master plan. Like you said, he does not deviate from his master plan. So Charlie has a pretty good understanding. I think MM Leo here at 140 and Charlie down a whole percent. He knows I get one hit very much like anything, right? You get one hit, you commit to it, and then you will take the stock here. But Charlie is having the question of, how do I get my hit when I have to kind of go for a lot of in and out of MM Leo? And that's where MM Leo wants to, you know, pretty much get a confirm right off the drop bomb. And Charlie just trying to go for a dash attack. MM Leo, like I said, he is setting up camp and shop. Even, this is, this look is, is looking look at like the way, a, Look at the way he's even using, yeah, like, yeah. the forward airs. He's, like, <laughs> throwing out projectiles while slowly backing, inching his way towards the ledge. Look, oh. I know Warzone has a lot of cheaters, man, but I'm telling you right now, MM Leo has set up the entire Warzone tent, man. He is sitting in the corner. He is waiting for you to walk in, and he is going to hit you with a shotgun. He is going to hit you with an LMG just for being out in the open. Unfortunately, Charlie right now is out in the open. Yeah. In a game of Warzone. With MM Leo still sitting on three stocks, 187%, so that stock could evaporate very quickly. But guess what? Getting that hit, that one, that one connection is what he needs. Oh, and the dash attack, unfortunately, does not yeah. find it. Yeah. Good tech from him. Uh, how was he able to tech that at like almost 200%? I was going to say that the same thing, but I w I'm not surprised MM Leo was either was ready for the tech just because he I mean, knows that's, how That's how not the first time we saw him do that tonight either. We saw him actually tech a very high percent. I think he was like 180 as well uh, against Razo where he Razo like Z dropped a turnip and he still teched it. But there you go. Wolf Flash going to clean up that stock, but still two stocks on MM Leo, 0%. Really MM Leo's game to play. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, the double fair. You know Charlie the King is looking for his setup. Yeah, oh, the Nair to cover the getup too as well against MM Leo, but unfortunately the drop bomb. Charlie is not going to fall to MM Leo's antics here. Goes all the way around the stage. I'm sorry, a cross up against MM Leo from the ledge. And then slowly coming back here, MM Leo 82. Wolf on the rage. You know that Charlie can take a stock if he plays the cards right here, but it's MM Leo going to give him the chance. Yeah, Charlie the King is jumping quite a bit, so with the way that MM Leo is forcing Charlie to approach, I'm expecting to see an anti air up tilt as, uh, as Charlie as gets a little bit closer. Okay. Dropping shield, but Charlie is able to catch in there. Charlie really needs to take advantage of MM Leo being offstage. 
He needs to get this this ledge trap. There it is, the what F tilt. Reaction, what a reaction to. And I think the way that MM Leo really wanted to set up is have Charlie interact with those drop bombs. Unfortunately for MM Leo, Charlie will see the reaction and the ability to just reflect those. And he knows the better decision making at that point. Oh, speaking of speaking of decision making, you can see that Charlie King is like thinking three steps ahead. Charlie King is playing master level chess right now. Oh, and guess what? So is MM Leo with the falling up air after a full hop. You know. You know that MM Leo was looking for the double jump from Charlie the King. Yeah, I think the way that Charlie saw that decision making there was okay. Let me let me see how the end leg will go from drop bomb and then try to punish. And I think that's what MM Leo definitely accounted for at that point. Like you said, he's playing master level chess here, but MM Leo is the one entirely control of the board. Uh, for yeah. Charlie, the question. I mean, I think he slowly started to catch up to that. Game oh wait, plan. hold on, hold on. Oh, he's doing it. No, no, no he's no. just meditating. Okay, all right, all right. False alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Every time he takes a deep breath, you know, I I, I look for it. <laughs> he's like, oh, he, there's something going on in his mind right now. Man, he's thinking something. He's <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> look at that. Look at that focus. You see that ninjutsu sign he was doing? He is ready. I'm not going to lie. Shameful plug. I do remember watching Naruto as a younger child. Don't tell me you did the Shikamaru thing. I, I you did not do the Shikamaru thing. No, I tried to learn all the hand signs. Oh, okay. All right, all right. No, 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 I did not do the Shikamaru. You're just a weeb. You're not. <laughs> I, was, I was a weeb <laughs> when, when being like 11 or 10 years old was cool. You know? yeah. As okay. I got older, Acceptable. I was... Acceptable. You were, you were 10. Yeah. <laughs> you can do cringy stuff at 10. <laughs> 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 okay, so we're here we are on Smashville. It's going to give a... Uh, Less platforms for MM Leo to play with, and at the same time, it's going to be less room for Charlie the King to actually chase MM Leo throughout the stage. I think that's what Charlie's decision making here is a good point here. You don't want to give MM Leo that space to run away from. You you want to kind of close the gap, and I think you definitely get to see how better it works out for both players. For actually more Charlie than MM Leo. Uh, like I said, the decision making here is yes, you do lose stage control. At the same time, the reward is you get more projectile setups, but in a stage like Town and City, there is going to be none of that happening as much as MM Leo would want to. Wow, the invincibility still there, even from the down smash. Yeah, Charlie the King letting it rip, but MM Leo just barely out of range. Okay, MM Leo, of course, setting up those drop bombs at the ledge. It's going to be very difficult to get around. Yeah, oh. I think Charlie sees that. I'd rather reset myself at the ledge here and take a drop bomb than to get hit by up smash and potentially lose my stock. What a reflect there and the punish on MM Leo. Uh, like I said, man, Charlie caught up last game. Even though he lost, he kind of understands MM Leo's game plan. That's why we see this oh, race. Oh, 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 okay, nice okay. 32 here. Right off the bat, Charlie is in here for the kill. And we know, man, Charlie gets one hit and he knows how to take the hit all directions as possible. Oh, nice fall. Good way to, yeah, that, that's, that effectively is much better than losing your stock. Yeah, just taking the hit from the bomb, getting sent straight up. You're not going to die, especially like at 130%, getting hit by the bomb at that position. Not going to die. Okay, what's the last guard? Nair? Drop down yeah. Nair. Yes, there it is. No tech, but no tech Ooh, needed. I still like that Nair Ooh. back on the stage because MM Leo went for a get-up option like that, and then Nair would have covered that. Yeah, of course, you know, and that also puts like a... That also tests like MM Leo reaction. Like, yeah, you couldn't tech it, but still... Good enough recovery to make it back, but guess what? Up smash, that's going to even up the stocks, and here we go. What are you going to do? Chasing around MM Leo, he's able to escape. Okay, nice. Once again, Charlie on the decision making. This is good too, because this is also changing up MM Leo's game plan. If that, essentially, like, if he doesn't deviate from his game plan, he has to change it at some point, and that's what Charlie is pretty much counting on. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new game here, especially in game two. And Charlie gets that Nair and MM Leo on the recovery. Charlie, look at that micro spacing here. He's looking for an opportunity to get something off the reaction, but MM Leo slips through the cracks. Yeah, Charlie was actually looking for the drop bomb again, which actually would have been a repeat on if uh, MM Leo got hit by that again. Definitely would have lost his stock. Yeah, send that laser back too. Send that one back. Send everything back to the kitchen. This chef is b booty. <laughs> The steak is not busting, so as uh, the cool kids would say here, but Charlie right back on with the reflector. Decision making it again, yeah, much better and much more effective. MM Leo was forced to change up that game plan. He's still going to recover, but he's got to watch up on the get up here, and Charlie does so. What a back throw, and that's a stock here. Yeah, I'm actually wondering if, since Charlie King has actually uh, committed to that option of getting hit by the drop bomb at the ledge so often, is MM Leo actually going to adjust and maybe try and convert off of it? That's you know, that's what I'm trying to see how MM Leo will adapt in that one here. It's, it's I pretty mean, much that, that would deviate from the plan, so I don't know. And I think that's no jump, no jump. No, okay. I think that's what Charlie's really count accounting for here. Oh, okay, the one time switching yeah. it up, very nice. Switching up to the F smash. 
That multi hit catching so many options at the ledge. Now, I don't see Charlie going off characters, and I know it's a little bit too early here, but for Charlie to understand MM Leo here, I do I do see Charlie just be pretty content with how he's able to put his game plan with Wolf Wild. Good get up on the ledge, able to hold the shield. Mm -hmm. Gets the tipper of the dash attack. Just playing MM Leo in the corner. Here we go once again. The ledge trapping game from Charlie the King begins like that. Empty hop. React to the react to the roll. What is the spacing? Oh, the dash attack still reached. Okay. Here you go, Charlie King. I want to see some more of those nares from Charlie the King. Yeah, these ledge. exactly. Yeah, and it works out so good because you can also beat out the drop bomb. Good dash attack here. As a, that's not the best punish you can get. Actually, that probably is. Given the lag in the distance. Wow, what a great catch to the upper. And then Charlie with stage control. That was close. That was close, but it's even closer here with that forward tilt. And Charlie taking it up 1 1 here and putting in game three in his hands. Charlie, he has read the textbook already. He said the homework was due last night. MM Leo, what's going to be in the game plan here? Hold on, hold on. Hold He's on. got the notes. He's got the notes. I see MM Leo on the phone, man. Hey, man, if you got notes to take, man, on your opponent, well, you might as well analyze your opponent because you never know when you're going to go up against the tour of the force that is Charlie the King. Yeah, of course. Oh, 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 look at him shake. Okay. Small power up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like you were saying, you know, M Charlie the King, king of momentum, really. Whenever he gets some, his engine going, it is he becomes a steamroller, and it is difficult to stop. MM Leo, though. He's uh, he's got a lot of walls built up that Charlie has to break through. Yeah, a lot of walls to break through. But I think for Charlie, it's also understanding how not to commit to the wall that is MM Leo here. A bit of a change up too. Battlefield, of course, Triplat. We know how combos will all work together in that one. But Battlefield also still a small stage. This is big for Charlie, but also big for MM Leo because he can use those platforms to slip through. But Charlie can use those platforms to combo MM Leo to the extent. Yeah, I'm curious to see how MM Leo is going to use these platforms to his advantage. I mean, it's pretty clear and cut how what uh, what Charlie's going to want to set up on these platforms. He can definitely get some up air strings and get extend some damage, uh, or even some forward airs. Here we go. Here we go. There's the reset. Reset. Oh yes, oh. he went for it on the up smash. We did not find it. MM Leo able to snake his way through. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that's much better. See, and he gets a jump that he can still burn, and then MM Leo has already fully set up the plan. Yeah, even with the way that Charlie's DIing, like, he's holding back whenever he gets hit by the bomb, so he doesn't go straight up, so it's very difficult for Leo to and actually follow up. He really essentially can without actually going oh. off stage, but another S-Smash catching a roll this time. Like I said, that S-Smash catches too many options. Yeah, I, do, I did like how we see also, just to go back on that ledge play, what a read, and what a wait too on that one, on the smash. Not enough, but Charlie does get MM Leo off the stage, and a chance here for the edge guard, but MM Leo slipping through here with so much on the ground here, just that drop bomb, you know how much it gives MM Leo in terms of insurance, and what a confirm off the back air too. Oh, dropping shield just a little bit too early, MM Leo finds himself on stage, no nair from Charlie the King, I mean, in that, op that position, it might have been too late. Okay. Nice, that's good. He doesn't let MM Leo keep jumping for free like that. You gotta get that punish here. 67 to 81. MM Leo sneaking up that upper, but there is a nair that blast should have forced that lower recovery. There is a nair waiting, but not enough. MM Leo still able to get back up. Man, and on the roll. Another S smash. Eye. Another S smash coming out from MM Leo. Here we go. The bomb's gonna explode. He's gonna get up at the right time. Charlie the King is on the hunt for this stock. 179% on MM Leo. Dash attack, F tilt. Even a back throw at the ledge. And so many options to take this stock, but can he get around the wall of Leo? I like how the song also matches the intensity of this match here. As a oh. two, 2 to 106 on Charlie, man. MM Leo is just... I don't know who the hero, I don't know who the villain is, but this is definitely some boss level music. Yeah, this is definitely some boss level music. The way MM Leo plays, like you said, very akin to a Mega Man boss. He's got a pattern and he's going to stick to it. Oh, and there's the up smash. Breaking... Breaking the the uh, the flow chart for just a little bit, and that seems to be where he's actually catching uh, Charlie King off uh, off guard because Char Charlie has already shown that he understands the flow of Leo. He already knows what options are, should be coming out. But whenever whenever a slight of inspiration comes from Leo, that's when things get a little rough. Yeah, I, the funny the crazy thing about MM Leo too that we're seeing. Is he plays me brawl me gunner like you would see him on Elite Smash and it's actually working all fun that he's a top eight at MSM. So that's the you gotta give it up to the guy. Rather you hate him or love him, man. That is so pretty impressive against oh, one of the best I players. I love that reset on the platform. 
Charlie actually, instead of like following through and nearing right onto his opponent, which we've seen plenty of times in this set, actually used the platform to reset his jump. Empty hopped again. Oh, no, oh. no. He's still in. He, he's still in, but look at the damage here. 131, MM Leo on two stocks. This yeah. is a lot of homework for Charlie to do. Finally, I mean, he, he had a much bigger hill to climb in oh, game he did, one, he and did. he did it. But these up tilts are coming out so fast and giving Charlie so much grief. Another up air going to whiff, and MM Leo still setting up his traps at the ledge. I don't know if you can actually afford to get hit by those bombs anymore, Charlie. Oh, okay. smash, yeah, that'll do it. All right, 156, man. That hill is looking very similar. Last time, Charlie almost conquered the hill, but this time, MM Leo will stop any chance of that as MM Leo does that. Charlie is pretty upset, man, in that, in that oh, San man. Diego is rooting for a guy who is sitting in one corner. I MM got, Leo You got to give it to, to San Diego. They always cheer for their whoever their player is, no matter whether he's the villain, he's the anti-hero, he's the hero. Yeah. They support them. They they give it up. They get loud. And uh, you know what? They, they they give it up for their region. It, it looks like MM Leo is the Where's they one at? I don't I, I so anyways. Where, where's A1A? Yeah, hold so up. Anyways. No, hold up. So Let's bring it back. A1A, where, where are you at? Uh, where, where's, so anyways. Where's, the, where's the Charlie fans? I'm a fan for Charlie. I'll say it right now. <laughs> I, I, I will always be Char one of Charlie's fans. I've, I've enjoyed watching this kid grow all the way from... I'm saying, I see him in the corner over there. The, the Fiending. Little. Yep. Get over here. All Give right. your boys some support. <laughs> but I will see here this on Charlie. He's going to go back to Smashville. We know how that went. So game five, looking like a pretty solid possibility given the stage, but we'll see if the story hasn't been truly yet to be written. But, or look, is but look at what a role reversal we're having. It was Charlie the King who was actually sitting in the corner and forcing MM Leo to approach. Yeah, you kind of, and the crazy thing too is Wolf's to main tool to kind of outlame his opponent is his Blaster, and we have seen the interaction between Blaster and Dropbox, then it sends it back. So that's going to be something that Charlie can use in situations like that, but we'll see, man. Charlie did much better as a slight aggressor this on this stage. Okay. Mm, that F smash once again catching and putting out double laser, both connecting. What are you aiming for? Oh, oh, no. I thought that was a down smash you were charging, <laughs> to be honest. No, I saw the up smash too, but the problem was that Charlie just... Okay. The invincibility here. Is that a nair? No nair. The drop bomb stopping Charlie in his tracks. MM Leo up a full stock here, and Charlie is in the corner, and he's looking to see if he can even lame him out himself. Ladies and gentlemen, if we see MM Leo advance to Grand Finals, we could see another power-up. I have it on from a good source, a reliable source, that if MM Leo makes it to Grand Finals, he will, in fact, power up. But there you go, Wolf Flash putting MM Leo off stage. Charlie's not out of this game just yet. There's the Nair. Just rinse the and repeat, Nair? Charlie. Rinse oh, and repeat. No. Good parry, no force. Are you oh, the safeness on that back air? Okay, Charlie opting to look, use a little bit of his movement. He sees the blaster is not working as quite, but he's looking to see if he can get MM Leo on the commitment. That is a forward throw. That is a late. I like that sneaky laser too because it's able to just a little bit damage on Charlie. That's a back throw into the drop bomb. Okay, no back throw off the stage here, but Charlie with the forward throw. Me Gunner at 150. There is no Nair. Yeah, MM Leo just continues to slip through the cracks. There you but go. finally, not enough what? once. It's okay, here comes another I'm Nair. That should do it. That should do it. I don't I'm, care I'm, what I'm percent you're at. You're, you're, you're dead. I'm telling you right now. I don't man. care how good you are at Tekken. You're dead. <laughs> Some unpaid intern decided that this character's weight should be as is. Some unpaid intern? No way. I'm so they you definitely right now. got paid. No, they did <laughs> not. They did not, man. Somebody was upset. Let the players suffer. And unfortunately, the player that's suffering here is Charlie the King here. 130, pretty much 130% here. MM Leo to 141. Charlie looking for the landing. I like that. Not on the ground. He sees that platform as an option. There is Ooh. two forward airs in MM Leo's face, but not a full combo. Okay, that's okay. But here. you got you to gotta be careful about how you're approaching MM Leo. We've mm -hmm. seen Charlie at these percents before. We've seen this scenario time and time already. Just watch your approach. Watch your, your watch your short hops because that's where MM Leo is going to try and check you Ooh. and then give you the up tilt. No tech chase. Oh, that's so rough. That's the thing that's been hard for Charlie. He hasn't been getting his combos. He hasn't been able to extend anything. That up tilt with pressure set up as he almost rolls that's into the I, drop bomb. He, Charlie said, has to make that quick stick, decision. Stick into the game plan. Check your pressure. Hit you with that quick up tilt. You can't react to that up tilt. Yeah, and the decision making was really rough there on Charlie's end. Do I want to roll into the jump on which he can also, which I'll take damage. And unfortunately, Charlie just did not see the option. 
Yeah, of course, MM Leo playing so good right now, sticking to the game plan. He knows the game plan's working. He's deviating when he needs to. And right here, what is the plan going to be, of course? Getting right back into position. Throwing up that up smash. That up smash has so much mileage against Charlie the King. Okay. Yep, continue the game plan for slowly forcing Charlie King into the ledge, which normally oh. normally we see uh, the opposite, but Char Ooh, there's a wolf flash. More more aggressive options from Charlie, please. Please. That's the thing too. Is we haven't been able to see Charlie get any of his famous confirms, any of his combos attack. This has come down to Charlie being forced to play MM Leo's game. Charlie is not even effectively playing his game. He's playing MM Leo's. Yeah, breaking the walls, breaking through the walls of MM Leo. So oh, difficult. No way, and here you go, MM Leo looking for a grab, not the up tilt. He I really should have expected the the anti air. Look, I don't want to call the time of death here, but the cards are not in Charlie's favor here. 108. San Diego is holding each other here. Charlie okay. here up on one stock, 108. This are we going to see a repeat? Are we going to see the shield check? Oh, wait, where's the. No! What? What? What a chance, man. What? Oh, no. What was that bounce? Charlie should have been sent to the left. What was that bounce? Unpaid intern. Unpaid intern. I'm well, somebody got paid for that. No, nah, no one got paid.